Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, the Macedonian Empire Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we were finally ready to launch our war with the Fess Aztec Alliance. So we declared our war, and we have uh, launched our assault on Fess. We have pushed pretty deep into their territory. We are rolling forward pretty well. They just simply do not have the forces to stop us. Uh, so we... Are taking care of them pretty well. They actually moved a lot of their army down here. Well, a, a chunk of their army down here. Um, to try to counter my assault here. Which has crippled them up here. Now we kind of forgot that Ghana was in the allies. Um, in that alliance there. Um, so Ghana kind of pushed into my territory a little bit. But we have moved some forces down. And we are counterattacking now. Um, it's just a matter of pushing to their victory point, which is going to be like right here. Um, so, we are moving into territory now. Um, we have a few candidates. And these guys can probably make the march there. Just make sure we protect their flank so they don't get cut off. Uh, over here in Aztec land... Um, we are moving a little bit slower, primarily because we are having problems with fuel. Because um, pretty much our armies over here are almost entirely tanks, so and the ports are not very good yet. Um, so getting fuel to my tanks is a bit of a problem at the moment. Uh, but we'll we'll get working on that now. One thing I did do. Um, just because I've never really done it before. Um, as I went in here, I queued up some of this. Underground resistance. Um, off of here. Um, I want to see what that does. I've, as I said, I've never done it before. Actually, let's prioritize it. I think that lets us build partisans that will rise up in enemy occupied territory. That's what I'm thinking. So, we'll see what it does. All right, um, anything else we need to worry about? Um, actually, one thing I might want to do, where are my transports? That was one fleet. There's the other. I'm thinking I'm going to bring these transports down here. Actually, I'm going to drop them here. Rebase. These submarines, actually I want to send them out here to convoy raid. See if we can find anything. And I'm going to take this whole army right here. I'm going to redeploy them up here. I might use them to do an amphibious invasion. We are still wasting some IC. Now... Look at resources map mode. What do we have over here? I guess Tehran will build up... Uh, some IC. Yeah. Let's build some more IC. Improve the factories there. Alright, so up here we have these guys kind of moving into positions there. Um, this guy is attacking the Fest capital, Afaro. Large formations. Province lost to Ghana again. Uh, but actually, there's. We're not really worried about that at the moment. These guys are moving in. Those guys move there. We have won the Battle of Cape St. Vincent. We lost none. They lost none. Um, these are our subs, right? Yes. Oh, speaking of, we have a carrier group over here. Naval map mode. 
Looks like we're still taking some hits here. So let's send the carrier group out here to patrol. Um, these guys are kind of getting a little beat up. So... I'll just rebalance that a little bit. Forces are under attack. Nothing going on there. Well, we have Force Concord and Fess. Alright, the battle, the war in Fess is now over. So, we'll have to decide what we're going to do with this army group that's sitting here. Um, well, this is Al Canary, right? These guys are one of our enemies as well. So we'll just do that. Oh, we lost a whole bunch of transports. Well, that's not cool. The best navy is chasing us. I'm probably going to need to give them some escorts. We're down to what? 34 ships from 40? We lost 6. Okay, well that won't... That won't hamper me too much. Alright, well we'll see what happens here. Looks like we've taken some damage. Problem is that the Fess, you know, capitulated, but they're a government in exile now, so their units that were on the map are still there. Okay. Alright, how are we looking here? Alright, these guys actually have some fuel. So, let's do this. Let's launch an attack here. These guys are moving in. And we turn this into a little bit of a pocket. And these guys are moving in, so they'll be able to support. All right. Okay, now Ghana. We need to deal with them. Let's see. They are going here. They are fleeing from there. So you guys move here. And actually, you guys move all the way there. Oh no, we lost the pride of our navy. Oh no, wait. The pride of the Fest Navy. The fearsome third Luva Dreadnought has been sunk by the glorious... First Aquila battleship. Okay, so one of our battleships sunk one of their dreadnoughts, and I obviously still haven't gotten around to actually giving them good names. Alright, so you're moving in there. These guys are taking care of that. Alright, let's see. Infantry and armor attack there. Infantry and armor move there. Those guys are moving in there. Send some guys there. Yeah, they're still working their way through this. That's okay. That's okay. All right. All right. Those guys are retreating. Oh, I did not want to do that. 
Well, it's alright. So let's take four of those. Oh, no, hold on. Alright, there we go. All this uh, nonsense with Ghana is going to go away once we take their capital. Sokolo here. Alright, so... It looks like that Scandinavia has moved in some forces here. Oh, we don't necessarily want, um... Eh? Well, let's just take some tanks. Move there, let's take some more tanks. Move them there. You guys go there. Three divisions head here. Three divisions head there. That should get, uh, that should work. Looks good. Um, we might want to send this army north. Prepare for a naval invasion of Scandinavia. Alright. It is part of this theater, so... Theater Command, Army Group. Let's send the whole Army Group. And redeploy them. Let's redeploy them up here. What, can I not strategically redeploy? Oh, because they're all engaged. Okay, so... Alright, we're gonna have to go with the individual armies then. Alright, you guys redeploy... Up there... You guys redeploy up here. Take this army. And this is the army group. Um, spotting advanced infantry anti tank weapons. Uh, army group. I'll drop you up there. I think I'm going to take this army and I'm going to detach it from the... Wait, that's a... That's a whole army. Hold on. This is the army group. Alright, let's bring that up here. I'm actually going to take these guys, detach them from the army group, and we're going to attach them directly to the theater. That should work. Yes. These guys are way out of range. So we're pushed into here. Troops should be arriving there soon. Alright, so we rolled up. Send more tanks there. 
You guys move here, you guys move there, you guys move... There, as soon as you're ready. I know they're taking some problem, some nasty penalties. Amphibious penalty minus 99%. I'm not sure we can even do that. Hmm. It's just one armored division. All right. Uh, let's not do that just yet. Well, let me take a look at my tech. Small arms. It's all 1942. Take that out for now. Do we have amphibious warfare equipment? No, we don't. Not yet. When will we get that? April 27th of 39. Okay. I do have marine infantry though. Hmm. So what if I did this? Divisions. Some marines. Some artillery. And engineers. And let's say I made Two cores. Two cores. Start production. All at once. Let's uh, prioritize that marine construction. Um, we're going to need it for amphibious invasions. Everybody there is redeploying. All right, we won the battles. Actually, once we take this, they're not going to have a port. Once they don't have a port, they don't have any supplies. I like this. Okay, speaking of... guys who can we support attack not really change anything no so they're out of gas can't move Surprised that one infantry division is holding out against four of my armored divisions. Uh, what's there? Attack. Terrain, minus 77%. Okay. Because this is what? Uh, this is jungle. Ah, I see. We got we got an infantry division. Okay. Yep, yeah, fighting in the jungle is not fun for tanks. Now 
Oh, it looks like we've swung the battle in our favor. At least we did there for a second. I'd like to get at least some of these units pocketed here. Porto. They are very strongly aligned with us. But we can't quite invite them because of their neutrality is too high. And I don't actually know how to reduce another nation's neutrality. I know how to make them more threatening to reduce my own neutrality, but... Okay, so they're pushing in there. You guys launch attack across the river. That looks like the bulk of the Ghana military right there. Or it's just a pile of HQs. It's just a pile of H HQs. Okay, so. Nothing really that serious. Okay, so you guys hit here. Just keep their army busy. All right, so more infantry. More infantry, good. What was that? I didn't see that pop up. We just can't make any headway. Just can't make any headway. Here's my transports. They can load up. Hmm. Where would I want to drop them? Would I want to drop them here? Come in behind these guys? Coming behind these guys. Cut them off from their port. Or do I want to attack in here and make a push for Mexico City? Or oh what was the what was the Aztec name? Tenochtitlan? I think. I think that was the Aztec name for that city. Um, oh, we got destroyers. Hey, destroyers. Let's drop the destroyers here in Rome, and then we'll drop the close air supports in the close air support wing that we have formed. Now... Actually, were these interceptors actually flying? I don't even know. Air intercept. Air launch torpedo advance. One thing I've got to do is go in and reorganize all of my research again. Alright, so those guys are going there. We got guys going here. Has that battle been has that battle been won? That battle has been won. Okay, so these guys actually continue pushing here. Because uh, this unit can move there. Ooh, more close air support. Okay, so... Alright, all this section of Alcanary has been... ...occupied.
Alright, they're winning that battle easily. Nope. Just can't make any headway in that jungle. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Oh, they are, they are attacking us. Okay. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my infantry. You guys. Two cores of infantry? That should be good for now. We're gonna load it up on these ships. Then... I'm going to launch an invasion here. And hopefully they don't get attacked by Aztec ships. Alright, we've won the battle. Okay. We haven't even finished the next stage of that port yet. Alright, so close air supports. Yeah, I think this is a better idea. We'll take the port. Uh, that's the only way they're going to have of getting any supplies into this area. I, I don't think they're going to air transport. Then we'll basically crush this big chunk of the Aztec army in here. Squeeze them between my two forces. Oh, we got rocket engines. Ooh. Uh, theoretical jet engine. Let's get researching that. Did that give me anything? Strategic rocket development. Yes, we want that. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Garrisons. Garrison divisions. Uh, we're going to want them over here. For the moment. Infantry division. CAGs. Uh, we, wouldn't, we want these dropped individually. CAG, 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 close air supports. Close air supports, there we go. Alright, where's my, oh my guys here. Hopefully they don't have any forces on the beach. Which they do. Two divisions. These are subs. I have battleships. I don't have any aircraft in range. I'm not worried about that, because we are actually attacking their... their capital. So... Ghana is not long. We have, we have 10 divisions of infantry dropping on this, and they're still resisting. Let's see if this changes at all once my ships get there. 
It changed a little bit. Mechanized offensive advanced, radar advance. Alright, mechanized offensive. Uh, yeah, oh, superior firepower. Ah, oh, there we are. That's what we want right there. Loud brigades and division plus one. Combined arms warfare, yes. Now, we don't have any planes, do we, that can get that far? Uh, what about our tactical bombers? Interceptors, where are they? There's my tactical bombers. Um, if we brought the tactical bombers here, the base. Ooh, second DD. And some armor divisions. Ooh, light tank gun. Drop these armor divisions. I mean, the number is going up, and their organization is dropping, and ours is not. So, we are winning that, technically. Uh, their range, not far enough. Japan. My strategic bombers? So I have three squadrons of strategic bombers. And we took the capital. Will Ghana capitulate? Yep, Ghana has capitulated. All right. So that irritant is resolved. Okay. Where's that army? There it is. Let's get that army regathered where it was supposed to be. And let's get this army gathered up here. Those destroyers are done. I mean, let's see. Sure bombardment minus 25%. Amphibious penalty. I mean, we, we are winning. We are winning that battle. We will land here eventually. Submarine anti-aircraft, submarine engine. Let's see. Submarine... Oh, we can take those out. 1943. Ooh, sonar detection equipment. Small warship radar, landing craft. We need all of that stuff. Landing craft should help improve our amphibious assaults. Speaking of our amphibious, when are these going to be done? March 1st of 1939. That's actually not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, how are things going over here? All right, good. Can we actually get this get this attack off? Get across there? Nope, it's not gonna let me do that. Okay, never mind. Well, we're gonna continue our march here. Because they should have no supplies. 
Lack of supplies, yes. That is a not insignificant chunk of the Scandinavian military that's going to get destroyed here. Alright, so we brought down these uh, strategic bombers. Uh, ground attack. Let's see what happens if I try to do that. They are dropping bombs. And there is a fleet sitting here. 22, we're about to drive them out of the port. We have been attacked. Alright, we are getting along on this episode, but I want to see what happens here. Well, let's just crank up the speed a little bit. 32. Come on, get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get our troops. 50, 51, 53. Don't get any reinforcements. Do not get any reinforcements. Alright, we, we, we've landed. We have landed our troops. Alright, what we need now is a supply line into there. Well, well actually they should be auto-created, right? Yes, okay, now we got our supply lines in there. So we should be able to supply these troops. Alright, well... What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to end this episode here. We'll distribute out those those new units um, next time. And then we'll see what we can do to try to uh, crush these Aztec forces uh, between two fronts. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.